Yo, what up, Foggers? So, it's uh, me and Matt back again. Uh, with He's never actually joined me in a review, so we're going to actually do a little review today. Um, of my vape. Of his vape, which is the drag. Um, you'll If you watch my Vupu 2 review, you'll know that the drag 2s just came out. And if this autofocus could stop being retarded, that would be <laughs> amazing. But bear with me, because it's stupid. Um... <laughs> But no, we're going to do his drag today. Um, so his was originally a black drag. It's kind of faded off. It's seen some rough days. Yeah. This thing is a absolute tank. Oh, yeah. Um, At least a brick. Dude. We've broken toes with this thing. We've broken walls with this thing. We've broken <laughs> we broke a lot of things with this thing. A lot of things. It is literally a tank. I it, could throw it at somebody. It takes a beating. All the time. Uh, he's very rough on it. My Vupu 2 would not stand up to this. They're not built the same. But the drags are essentially um, one of the first mods Vupu came out with. You've probably seen reviews of them. You've probably seen reviews of them, honestly. They're probably, they're everywhere. They're, but each pattern, as far as like the resin, is unique. Um, they're now, they all like look relatively the same, but each pattern, no two patterns are exactly the same. But uh, it's pretty cool because it has the option to do either wattage control, temperature control, or uh, variable wattage, or variable voltage control. So you can check your change what voltage your coils run at, which can be good for um, certain cloud competitions and shit like that, where you want to be able to put out a maximum voltage and get your coils. It's a little bit different. I'm not going to get into the technical specs of it, because it's really more meant for like higher like tier things, like cloud competitions and stuff like that, which... Um, I know we've done, but like nothing professional uh, or anything like that. But basically, this thing is a brick, uh, oh, yeah. to say the least. Um, battery compartment is there. It's the uh, metal side. It does say conveniently drag. It's going to be backwards for you guys, but it's whatever. Um, you no, know, it will be, I'm pretty sure, because it's mirrored right now. Um, but it is... Pretty nice. Screen layout is relatively the same as the two, as far as what I showed you guys on that video, uh, which Matt had no idea I filmed. Uh, yeah. I didn't tell him. I was. I, I didn't tell him when I did my TV3 review either. It's alright. But like, um, there was a couple different f like how to sw how to switch stuff on here. It's what is it? Three clicks. Three clicks changes changes it to temperature control mode, and if you hold, if you press it five times, you go for the menu. No, I press it five times and turning it off. Oh, I believe it's, it, it's bottom. Holding bottom two. It's holding yeah, bottom two. Ones. Mine doesn't have that option. Yeah, bottom two will change it to menu. Uh, bottom two, like the adjusting buttons, they change it to menu, and then you just select whatever you want as far as what you want on the device. But um, he, what do you, what tank are you rocking? I don't remember. That's the uh, U Force. Yeah. Okay, so he has the U Force bubble glass. It does come with, I think, the standard U Force tanks for like if you get the kits but this is the upgraded version that comes with the which one did this come with the snow wolf no that no. was charlie's or no it was charlie's charlie's yeah it comes with the snow craig's came with the no craig's came with this is craig's yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's craig's yeah yeah because yeah, charlie has the all right, all right, tank. The yeah charlie has a different tank but um <laughs> they don't know who charlie is they don't know who charlie is it's, <laughs> it's whatever it's uh, charlie's another friend of ours that also vapes uh, he has the same Kylan. He's actually the guy who fixed my Kylan. Oh, should mention. Um, let me just dig that out for you guys real quick. So, if you'll notice in my Vupu 2 review, my Kylan was shot. Like, busted out. Um, we got her fixed. She's in working condition again. Thank God. Uh, a buddy of mine come through with class, and he just kind of <laughs> gave it to me, so. Jesse, just get on the video. Clouds. It's your mod. I'm not vaping on it. That's your choice. What juice are you running? Peachy Punch. Keep uh, 100? Keep yeah, keep 100, Peachy Punch. I'm running Homebrew. Um, that's all I run. Uh, <coughs> but, yeah, no, okay. Let me see it. Thanks. So, you'll notice the difference between the Vupu 2, uh, and then, which kind of is crappy right now. I tried to peel the, um, the sticky stuff that was on it in the last video. I tried to peel that off, and it, like, left residue and other crap, and it pulled the scales off the other side, so it's not just flat gray. <laughs> It's kind of annoying, but whatever. You could have just um, hidden the, that. I could. I could have. Now it's whatever. It's it makes my mod unique. It shows that it's been used. 
But then, yeah, you can see the difference. The tank offset is different because this one's like more centered, whereas this one is right on the end. So this follows very uh, stereotypical uh, classic view of a vape, where you have your tank right on the end of it, whereas this is more centered. Not quite centered, and that's because it peaks kind of right at the tips here because it is wider. Um, but that's, and then this one's just kind of the same thickness the whole way through. The V2 um, one is slightly offset from the side. Yeah. Um, they just came out with the Drag 2s, so I think the Drag, drag, drag 2. What? That's what I meant to say. What? Yeah, Drag 2s are slightly offset. They're not really in the center. Any, or they're not centered like the V2 is, but they're not like right on the end like this one is anymore. Um, they it's brought it in like slightly. Um, any complaints about this? Really? Not really. The 510 pin comes loose a lot. Yeah, 510 pin comes loose. I have the tools to fix that, so I usually just pop it back in place. Um, but um, other than that, no, not really. Yeah. The, the no, coils last a while in that tank too. Yeah, coils last a while in this tank. As again, this is the U force with the bubble glass. And those are U four um, coils. U four coils. 0.23. So they last a while. They have a pretty pretty good coil life. Yeah. Um. The only complaints I have about this tank, which is what I said in the Vupu 2 video, is that the Vupu 2 is very slender and curved. It has a lot of really smooth edges, whereas the drag has a lot of sharp edges. I don't like the way this always fits in my hand. It it's, fits in my hand, like, perfectly. Yeah, he, he likes the way it fits in his hand, but, like, honestly, this thing's very, like, squared off, and I feel like it has really sharp edges, and I don't like that. Three. What? Yeah, because it's completely round. It's completely round. Yeah, and even the T-Priv 2, or even the T-Privs, like, the, the original. Yeah, the T-Priv 2s, because the originals were prototypes. Um, the T-Privs were, like, square, but they were still rounded at the edges. The T-Priv 3 was completely ones. round, and I really like that, because it fits in your hand nice. Like, I just like the feeling of this. It looks, it feels good. Um, Dig it. <laughs> just cause. No real reason. And honestly, like, they're not the biggest clouds ever, but it's not small clouds for an atomizer like that. No, honestly, like, even smock atomizers, I'm sorry, that's not going to keep up with the cloud competition. I made mention of that in the Booper 2 video. Because, like, honestly, if you're going to use a big baby tank, you're not getting big clouds. You're getting baby clouds. Like, that's why it's big baby. Cloud, son. That's clouds. Now, if I have my four core atomizer, oh god. Where is it? Where's the good? I'm not getting it. I'm not throwing it on. You need to do a video on that. I already did. It's oh. in the Booper Two video because I didn't have my gun. Oh. That's all I had. Um, wow, I think you didn't tell me, huh? Hmm. What's the other? What's the other atomizer you run? Um, I have Kennedy? The Kennedy RDA. Kennedy RDA. He has a 24 millimeter with the aftermarket cap. Uh, the one that came on my mech mod, the Complex Predator mech mod, he has the RDA for that. I gave it to him. I can get Because, no, don't even bother. Um, it's whatever. Uh, camera girl just entered in case anybody watched oh, that video. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> we're in her room because it's cold in the basement. Yeah, it's fucking cold. Um, but. Is that my dad? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, but it's whatever. Um. But no, uh, so yeah, this is the kind of the difference between them, and uh, yeah, I did give him the Kennedy off the comp life, and I am gonna try and sell the comp life, just the mech. I don't want it. I don't use it. I just rather use my Ruby, uh, or my Tomahawk, which I'm gonna do reviews on. The Tomahawk I'm gonna do specifically a review on because it's the smallest 18650. The Kennedy's not worth doing a review on because if you haven't heard of Kennedy, it's American-made mech mod that is honestly. Just yeah. a mech mod. Yeah. There are so much better ones. Purge is like better. Um, what? No. Keep going. Purge is better. Yeah, Purge is better. Um, they're like really high end. I, the last Purge I looked at that I was going to buy was $325. And I wasn't doing it. I was like, no, not worth it. I think I'm going to sell the Ken C. My blue tech? Yeah. You can. I mean, I didn't like right. it. Nobody's using it. Yeah, nobody's, using, nobody's it. using it. Is absolutely like the most unused tank that gets passed around because it, it's it sucks. It's the predecessor to the Kylan, and it had really tight threads. It was really easy to cross thread, and sucked. It just I didn't like it. Um, 
It didn't have enough juice because I like my six milliliter tank. Yeah, um, I think it's tiny. I don't. I would never use it. I I won't use it. It's I put really a coil in it. Yeah. And I tried to hit it. It worked for like three hits and then it like exploded. Oh shit! Just stopped. It, just it didn't. blew up. <laughs> the coil didn't. It just just stopped working. It was like no, yeah, yeah. It just stopped. Are the screws stripped out? No. Oh, okay. I mean, if the screws are stripped out, then clearly it's gonna be like oh no, oh. They're like really big Phillips heads. Oh, that's right. I forgot that Kenzie came with Phillips heads. That was a that was annoying because I only ever use Allen key stuff just because it. I don't know. I like the Phillips heads. Phillips heads don't strip as much. I really wish I had Phillips heads in the in this, but I don't. Um, You might get some. No, 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 not for how these thread in. They're too like. They take too much space. Um, If you, if I would have put Phillips heads in it, I wouldn't have any room for cotton. Because oh, you have to thread it through the cotton flow yeah. or the cotton, like yeah, spot. I know, I know yeah. So like, I I'll have to give you a full rundown on like the opening and everything. But um, honestly, this has just been the review of the drag two and a couple <coughs> rambling, uh, a couple talking about other mods. The but drag. the drag. Oh yeah, drag two. My bad. Not the drag two. Uh, the drag. Yeah, drag. Just drag. I keep mixing the Vupu two and the drag. Um, <laughs> it's whatever. Drag two. It's even more confusing. Yeah, and then they came out with a drag too, which is like, really? You couldn't come out with like a drag like alpha or a drag beta, like something so, different? Because yeah. you already have, Google has an alpha mod. It's their first mod. It was never really a mainstream thing. It was just, they came out with a Google alpha. It was just there. And then they came out with a drag. And the drag hit the markets and just soared. Um, the tube was also pretty good. The mojo was kind of smaller. And then they just come out with the drag too. And they have a panda, which is a salt nick device. And they have another one. The V mate. The V mate, which is the next one I'm looking at. Um, and I got an offer for one for 35 bucks. And I don't know if I'm going to take it because I want a new tank. But we'll see what happens. But once Sage gets, like, if he actually does get the diamond, once he gets the diamond, he can join the click again because he hasn't been vaping. Yeah, he hasn't been vaping. He sold his deeper. He needed the money. Um, it's whatever. Yeah, but I didn't care. I, I, he actually he sold his T Brave and then paid me for it. So he really didn't get anything out of it because he owed me for the T Brave anyway. Right. So he sold it just so we wouldn't have to pay me for it, which is kind of stupid. But honestly, this is just it's just rambling. It's whatever. I can send you pictures of like all of the things we mentioned in this video so that you can put them in there or whatever. I'm not editing. I'm just going to raw upload this. Gonna raw. I'm just going to okay. raw upload this. I'm cool. So this is a raw I'm upload. I'm not editing anymore. I got too lazy. Um, I can't 12 minutes and 52 seconds so far. Okay. And we're going to cut it because I'm just done. Yeah, so, there's nothing more to talk about. Yeah. So, again, this is raw. So that whole thing you guys are going to get. It's whatever. It's just us um, and yeah, It's whatever. So this has been drag, drag the drag review. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. You're good. Um, but this is this is it. So peace out, foggers. We're clear.